All right, guys, so here is the packaging for the foundation. Super shiny, and it just says foundation across the front. That was kind of odd to me. I really thought that they would do something a little different with the bottle, but that's what they did. It just says foundation across the front, and it is a little bit more like Anastasia on the back. Uh, they sent me the last five shades. I want to say I'll leave some information down in my description box because I really didn't look it up to see, but we're going to find out today. Okay. They also sent me the powders. Let me get that. This is the other box and it has five powders inside. Kind of hard to hold all this stuff. Five powders inside right there. I have vanilla powder. Uh, deep peach, interesting, translucent, golden orange, and the banana powder. Okay, so what I, I think I'm kind of digging that peach powder as an under eye powder. And for the rest of my face, I think I'm going to try the golden orange. If it looks a little too strange, then I'll go back to my normal setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier. My eye look will actually be in another video. I use the Jackie Anya palette again. I just wanted to do something a little bit more neutral that you guys could wear every day if you wanted to. Very, very nice. So I'll definitely have that video up hopefully before this one. Uh, let's try out these shades. I'm going to swatch them right here on my cheek and see what we have. So this first one I'm going to swatch is called uh, 570N. So 570 neutral. And it's a glass bottle with a pump. I'm trying to build it up here. Ooh, that's pretty deep. That is pretty deep. So let's see. That's pretty darn deep. Okay. But I like that because you know you can have a contour shade. We have 580 warm, 580 W. This one is pretty deep as well. A little lighter, but still deep for me. Uh, this one is 590, and I think that C stands for cool. So 590 cool. Yeah, that's deeper than the other three. So I hope you guys can see. Those three are pretty darn deep. All right, this one is 560 warm. And the last shade they gave me was 550 warm or 550. Fingers crossed for this one. I don't think that one is a little too red. Now that I look at it, it looks more red. Yeah. Okay. And that shade right here. So this one, now that I see it next to this one, this one, the five, what did I say this was? 560. 560 warm looks a little red. And 550 or 550 looks a little bit more orange. Hmm. I think I'd rather go more orange than more red. So I'm going to give this a try on one side of my face. If I'm not really happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, wipe it off. Now, this foundation actually came to me today, so I didn't really have a chance to do any research on it or anything like that. I did see it on social media, but I didn't do any research on this. So um, I'm going to look it up, uh, see what type of finish it's supposed to be and all that good stuff. And I'll have it here in the video. How many shades? Uh, what it's supposed to do for you. I really don't know. This is definitely a first impressions. I'm going to apply this with a sponge. Just because on my hand it seems more thick. It doesn't seem thin at all. 
and I don't want to put on too much. So let's go for it. All right guys, so far I'm not really a fan of the color. Can I work with the color? Yes, I can, but I'm not a fan of the color. I feel like it's pulling a little too orangey on me. Look in here. Now you guys might see something different and even when I put the video into my computer to edit, I might see something different. But right now looking into the camera, it looks a bit orange. All right guys, looking here at my hand, I could even see that the foundation is more orangey and my skin has more of a neutral or yellow undertone. So that's what I'm seeing on my face right here in the um, side panel of the camera. All right guys, reading here on the bottle, it is a luminous foundation. I am oily. Um, it doesn't look very shiny or anything like that. It does help your skin look. I'm, I have a mirror. It does have uh, my skin looking kind of healthy. It's not a greasy look or anything like that. I think my issue is just the, the shade. It doesn't look like it has that super coverage either. But I'm wondering, can you build it up? Is it a terrible foundation? For what I'm seeing right here, no. I mean, if you can find your shade, I think it's gonna be nice. Um, I don't think it's gonna be, anytime they tell me luminous anything, I'm not gonna ever say it's uh, good for people with oily skin like myself. Because once that grease or that oil breaks through, you look like a grease ball. That's it, I'm being honest. I know what I look like when my oil starts breaking through. We don't know, maybe they'll come out with a mattifying foundation after this or semi-matte. Yeah, so this is definitely not a match for me. It's not bad, not horrible, but it's not a match. I'm just taking my uh, brush and going back around trying to blend it down the neck and all of that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use a little concealer from Urban Decay. We're gonna try to bring back a little neutralness to the skin. We're gonna try to work with this. guys I am looking at this powder this old golden orange I don't think I need to go any more orange <laughs> so I am going to use the deep peach under my eyes I think I'm gonna try that and then I'll use my regular Laura Mercier powder I crease a lot so I don't try to put too much powder under my eye I don't need to bake or anything like that I'll just put it here in the cap, knock off a lot of it and just press it in. Not swiping, I'm pressing. All right guys, so I am definitely loving the deep peach powder. It feels good and it looks even better. It makes your face look so like filtered. It looks beautiful. So the powder is definitely a keeper. I don't know about this orange powder. I mean, even in the 
container it looks very orange so I'm not sure about that I might just swatch it play around with it another day right now I'm just going around my face with my Laura Mercier um, what is this uh, medium deep all right let's apply a little blush I'm just gonna go right into my Mac palette It's here on the desk uh, we can go into I think this one is raisin well, we can mix Raisin and Fever. Fever is the more reddish tone. We can mix it a little bit. So let me go away and finish up my eyes and I will be back. All right, guys. So this is your completed look. And I think that I really did... Um, you know, make it work for me, pretty much. Um, we know we don't want to make it work. We want it to already work. You want it to be the right formula for you. You want it to be the right shade for you. The shade was off and it's a luminous formula, but I always like to review foundations, especially if companies send them to me. I really want to uh, review them and let you know what I think about them. Of course, I can't give you a 24 hour or four hour, five hour uh, wear test. It's late at night. I'm not going anywhere. This was just um, first impressions. I think that it looks beautiful on the skin. It does give you a nice, healthy look to your skin. Um, but me being oily, I don't have much luck with luminous foundation. So I, I could do a wear test for you, but I already know it possibly will end up being like, you know, for me. So with that being said, color is off i'm gonna see what other shades they have they sent me what they thought would be best for me so they sent me these five um i'm gonna just check the website and see if there's something else that may just work for me on my lips right now i just want you guys to know excuse my phone this is from l'oreal paris uh this is something new the rouge signature parisian sunset liquid lipsticks Feels great, looks beautiful. Uh, the shade I have on right now is called um, I Am Ace, and that's number 446. So if you're interested, it's kind of a orangey brownish shade. It works. I don't know how, but it works. Okay, so just in case you guys wanted to know. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Cyber Kisses. Bye.